Let's start talking about public corporations. A public corporation is any comp corporation whose stock is available to anyone who may buy, sell, or trade it. A public corporation must provide financial information to the public so they can review it to make their stock purchase choices. There are two types of public corporations, two special types, in addition to the, the large scale public corporation that we uh, generally talk about. These two other types are the quasi-public corporation and the non-profit corporation. The quasi-public corporation is owned and operated by the federal, state, or local government. Usually the focus of this type of corporation is to provide a service to citizens such as the U.S. Postal Service. The final type of corporation that we consider in this chapter is the non-profit corporation. Nonprofit corporations are similar to quasi-public corporations as they focus on providing a services, not a profit. The difference is that it, and this is an important one, is that nonprofit corporations are not owned by the government. Private, private and public corporations and most nonprofit corporations have a board of directors that oversee the general operation of the corporation. A board of directors is elected by the stockholders. They set a long they set long range objectives and they ensure that those objectives are met on schedule. Board members are legally liable for any mismanagement of the company of the firm and the firm's assets or any misuse of funds. They're liable to the company's stockholders. An important duty of the board is to hire corporate officers, such as the president and chief executive officer. The officers are responsible to the directors for the management of the daily operations of the firm. Directors can be employees of the company. They're called inside directors, or they can be people who are unaffiliated with the company, called outside directors, or sometimes independent directors. Inside directors are usually the officers responsible for running the company, some of the senior officers. Outside directors are op often top executives of other companies, or they might be lawyers, bankers, or even professors. Corporations issue two types of stock. These are called preferred stock and common stock. Owners of preferred stock are a special class of owners because although they generally do not have say in running the company, they do have claims on profit that becomes that is preferred before any of the other stockholders get their claims on the property or the profits of the company. Other stock, stockholders do not receive any dividends unless the preferred stockholders have already been paid the, the special benefits that are, quote, pref their preferences. Such, as dividend, such dividends unpaid from previous years must also be paid to preferred stockholders before any other stockholders, common stockholders, can receive any dividends. Although owners of common stock do not get such preferential treatment with regard to dividends, they do get say in the day-to-day -day operation of the corporation. Stock owners may vote by proxy, meaning they can assign their vote to someone else. Common stockholders in most states have preemptive rights to purchase new shares of stock from the corporation if the corporation decides to sell its sell new shares to the public. Common shareholders have preemptive rights to purchase some of these new shares. As with the other types of ownership, corporations have advantages and disadvantages. As we've seen in sole proprietorships and partnerships, those advantages are related to autonomy and are often that there are also advantages and disadvantages associated with corporations where there's the intermediary of the board of directors between the owners and the managers. Advantages, advantages of the corporate form of business include the owners have limited liability, providing protection to them as shareholders, and that the corporation's assets and liabilities are separate from its owners. Ownership, that is stock, can be transferred Corporations usually last forever, extending beyond the life of the owners. And they can be sold and passed along or inherited. Raising money is, an, is easier than for other forms of business because the, the uh, 
vis visible visibility into the assets and liabilities of the corporation, and the the, the debtors, the um, debt holders, would have claims on those assets. And expansion in, uh, into new businesses is simpler because of the ability to enter for the corporation itself to enter into contracts and to hold assets and own property. Disadvantages of the corporation um, include that the company can be is taxed on its income separate from the owners. The owners pay a second tax, is what's called double taxation, on any profits they receive as dividend payments. Forming a corporation can be expensive at times, particularly if it's large and complex, and there may be corporations that are needed or are expeditious in the various states for a large corporation in the United States. Keeping trade secrets is difficult because so much information must be made available to the public and to government agencies. And most employees are not stockholders in the company for which they work. This separation of ownership from employment may be problematic in terms of making sure people were motivated towards maximizing profit. Employers, employees without an ownership stake don't always see how they fit into the larger picture and how their activities generate profit for the shareholders and how they benefit from all that activity. One example, corporation Volkswagen is the eighth largest corporation in the world. Did you know that the first corporation with a net income of more than $1 billion a year was General Motors with a net income in 1955 of 1,189,477, million dollars Quite a uh, achievement. First, extreme, first billion, billion dollar profit company, General Motors. Volkswagen is also large, many other very large companies. Um, in the next lecture, we'll talk about, this is only an introduction to the corporation and the public corporation. In the next lecture, we'll talk, we'll continue this introductory overview and talk about other ownership possibilities.